Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're out at the farm. I've got my son Evan, Mr. Whackin' Axe is here, running the camera for me. So today what we're gonna tackle is, as you can see here behind me, we got a big white oak tree that if you guys follow Evan over at his channel, he dropped this tree with the 400C about a month and a half ago. But it's on a pretty big hillside, a lot of tripping hazards and brush and this area down in here gets really muddy when the sun hits this so with the weather going back and forth like it's been doing it's froze one day and unthawing and snotty the next day so today we got a good froze up hard solid ground to stand on so we're going to get to cutting this tree up so stick with us All right, everybody, got the saws warmed up. Evan's over there with his little MS-250, getting some of the brush out of the way. Because a lot of this is gonna be above his head and out of reach. He's gonna clean up some of the tree tops and then I'm gonna come in behind him and uh, try to see what we can do with this log to get it to lay down and maybe not get anybody hurt. guys have been uh, following Shibe over at his channel, Outside with Shibe. He's been doing a lot of roadside logging. So I'm going to name this Creekside Logging. And that's our one dilemma with this tree. Didn't want to let it go to waste. It's been standing for about three years dead. But as you can see, it's on the wrong side of the creek. So that's why we've had to wait so long. It's been a challenge. Right, guys so we got all the way through it and uh it's just not coming down so dad's gonna get uphill a little ways from it um and try and push on it push it down no it's could come back on him but uh he's getting far enough away from it to where it should be okay there we go <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
everybody between me and Evan and the two chainsaws we got the top all bucked up there's quite a bit of wood there it's been standing dead for a while some of it looks a little punky but uh, a lot of the smaller stuff stuff we can't split will be for our own personal use and our garage wood stove and the rest of it that we think's good we can split for uh, for the firewood stand so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna go up behind this log up on the hill. Let me get out of that sun for you. And I know from your perspective here and from where Evan's gonna be filming this, it doesn't look too safe, but there's two or three six inch saplings on the back side of that log. Once I got up there, I realized it wasn't gonna come back on me. So I'm gonna try to chunk that big portion of that log up in a couple chunks today and get it to maybe slide down the hill and then we're gonna bring a couple big chains and ropes in with the tractor maybe sometime this week and drag it the rest of the way up, maybe try to get it across the creek. So that's what we're gonna do, hang with me. <laughs> There we go. Cleared a nice little path down the hill. <laughs> ain't that something? Huh? I said, ain't that something? guys there's still three saplings bent over underneath that center part of that log so i'm going to go ahead and take another section out and get it to go down the hill
<laughs> it's really hard to tell on camera how steep this hill really is, but I think that log rolling down it pretty much sums it up. Okay, guys, Dad's uphill from it right now, but look how strong these saplings are. Three or four six-inch saplings are just suspending this thing out of the air right now, and that's a big log. a tractor when you got a natural redneck conveyor belt. No need for a tractor. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for the video today. I want to thank my son here, Mr. Wacken Axis, for helping me out and trying to spot me. I know a lot of this stuff up here seemed really unsafe, but, uh, on the uphill side, like I said, there was a lot of saplings holding that log from rolling back against me. So uh, I felt pretty safe doing it. Now this is a very steep incline, as you might have seen when that log come rolling down the hill. That's why Evan was standing over here. And uh, as you can see, it landed in the creek down here, so that's fine. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys.